Hello and welcome to another video. In this video will cover different research hacks that you can use in your debate research. As a lesson preview, this lesson will cover first, some Google tips, second, getting past online paywalls, and third, we'll talk about the credibility of different sources. So first, we'll talk about Google. There are a couple of tips that you want to keep in mind when searching stuff on Google. The first thing that we'll talk about is some search tips. One thing that you can do is put quotation marks around one specific term. And whenever you hit search or enter, that one word will always appear in every single result that will pop up. And so this is a great way to ensure that you're always getting consistent results. The second type of a search tip that you can use in Google is a minus sign. Essentially, you would put in a phrase and then a minus sign and then one word that you want to exclude in that search. After you hit enter, the results that are going to pop up will not include that word that you've subtracted essentially from the phrase. The third and probably the most helpful type of a search tip is to put a specific link at the end of your search. In this case, you would have a phrase, a colon, and then the newyorktimes.com. This way, all the results that you're going to get are solely going to be from the New York Times and nothing else. The second Google tip that you should keep in mind is Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a great way for you to not only sign up for weekly updates, but also you get articles that are peer reviewed by other academic scholars. And here is a way that you could sign up for weekly updates. See the three bars at the left, you would press this, go to alerts, and you would want to create an alert. The LD topic is about open borders. So I would type in open borders. And then I would create an alert. This way, every single morning, I would get an email from Google that talks about any new journals or any new documents that talks about open borders and I can stay updated on a topic for PF, policy, or LD. The third and last Google tip is a site creator. Site creator is a Chrome extension that you should use on Chrome and it's essentially an extension that allows you to automatically cite an article and allow you to copy and paste that to your debate research. And here's how you can download site creator. You can download Site Creator through the Chrome extension and it will be able to tell you what kind of citations are going to be pulled out of an article. You can do the standard mode, the front loaded mode, or a custom mode. I do it as author, year, author, qualifications, the title of the article, the date, the publication, the URL, and the accessed date. And so whenever you're looking through an article, you'll be able to see this pop up at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, and you would be able to copy and paste this onto a debate case that you're also using. Now I'll talk about paywalls. Getting past paywalls is really annoying. And whenever you're at your debate research and you have to get through a paywall, it's really annoying. So here are some ways that you can get past paywalls. The first is bardeen.ai. This is essentially a Chrome extension that allows you to get past different paywalls on certain websites. And here's how you can download Bardeen. The extension that we're looking for is Bardeen. So you would type Bardeen in the chat and you would press the first one. If you haven't already, you should add this to Chrome. You come across an article that's blank towards the bottom. This means that there is a paywall that you have to get through, but you don't know how to get through this paywall then you would press the Bardeen icon that's on your Chrome browser. You would click on that and then you would search remove paywall, which is a function that Bardeen can do for you. It would start running that and then it would find that article from the Internet Archives. Essentially, what it's doing is that it's taking a screenshot of the article when it did not have a paywall and it's able to generate that same article for you. So you'd be able to access this without actually having to pay for that article. The second is Libgen. Libgen is a database that essentially captures or has access to different research articles, essentially PDFs that enables you to get access to. And the thing about Libgen is that the URL for Libgen constantly changes. So you want to type in Libgen in the Google search bar and then you will get redirected to another link. That is the link that you want to use. It's always going to change for legal issues. So make sure to get updated. The third is Sci-Hub. 
Sci-Hub is another great way and it's another database that allows you to collect articles and get access to different research articles. Sci-Hub is a little bit more fishy than LibGen, but it's still very helpful for you to get past different paywalls. So now we'll talk about some incredible sources. This is a news bias chart. You want to have news or articles that are at the center of the chart. For example, you have ABC News or BBC News, Reuters or AP. All of these sites in the middle of the chart are always fact-based or objective, and they tend to not lean towards opinion. The more left-leaning you get, you will get more left-leaning articles. For example, Vox is a little bit more opinionated, and towards the right side of the graph, you would have more right-leaning articles like the New York Post. And although you may have some certain political backgrounds or certain political views, you always want to have the most middle sources because these are the sources that are not biased or doesn't have any opinions in them. I hope this video was a very good refresher on how to do research and some hacks that you can use in order for your research to be the best.